Hey everybody, so uh, this is the next punching video I'm going to put out. Uh, I'm going to show you how to throw an uppercut. So, not a lead uppercut, just kind of like a power hand, like the backhand uppercut. So, like if I'm in my stance right here, right, what I want to do is I'm going to throw it with my, I'm a, right, I'm a righty. So, I'm standing with my left foot in front, left hand in front. I'm going to throw my backhand. This is whether you're south pole, you know, south pole or, you know, um, orthodox. I'm going to throw with my back. So, you got to think to yourself, it's the same as if I'm throwing a cross, right? So when I throw across, I'm in my stance, my heel is up, my weight's on the back, right? I'm kind of got a little bit of lean going here. Usually, you know, you're in your rhythm. It's just kind of the same idea. There's really no rhythm for that cross. So I gotta be like in my rhythm, and like when I want to throw it, I'm gonna come, like if I'm in my rhythm, I'm gonna kind of stop in the back right here, because I want that power. So if I'm gonna throw a right hand by itself, I'm gonna stop and then throw. So it looks like I might be, like if I do a fast, I might look like I'm using rhythm. <coughs> I'm not really using rhythm, I'm kind of just like in my rhythm and I'll stop when I'm back here and then I'll throw it. Make sure I turn my thumb, make sure my foot's turning, make sure that my hip is turning forward, right? So I'm here, I'll throw like that. This is how I throw my cross. So I'm in my rhythm, stop, throw, come back in my rhythm, okay? Here, come back, okay? So what I want to do with the right uppercut or uh, left uppercut, whatever uh, your stance is, you got to just think to yourself, the same way I throw and turn my hip, I gotta do the same thing. I turn my foot, turn my hip, and as I finish throwing the punch, if I'm throwing the uppercut, I'm here, right, I threw the uppercut and come up, I gotta come right back, you see? So I'm here, I threw it, come back, and then I'm in my rhythm. Stop, throw, come back, and notice my left hand stays up, right? So if I'm here, I threw it, Look, I'm kind of giving you like nothing to go with, you know? And at the same time, I'm not really going to extend like this. When you throw an uppercut, you kind of got to be close. It's really more when like, if I'm fighting with somebody, if I'm hitting close like this, you know, maybe I'm more to the body, I'll throw it from there. I don't really want to throw it out here unless it's some kind of counter, like maybe off of like a jab or something. I'll slip to the side and maybe come up. That's different. But for the most part, uppercuts you throw when you're on the inside. If you're working a heavy bag, you're really not going to be able to hit the heavy bag. They sell uh, bags that are like a big circle. It's like an uppercut bag. You know, it looks like a big ball. Those are for uppercuts. Uh, this kind of bag, if you're going to practice uppercuts on a bag, like if I'm working the bag, you know, I'll throw it here. I'm not going to hit the bag because I can't. There's no way to hit an uppercut on this, on this kind of bag. So if I'm actually working the bag, you know, you see I kind of just went up and through. But when I throw my uppercut, I'm here. I'm turning the same way I'm throwing my cross. You see, look at my look at my like hip, my foot. I turn, and I'm here. You see, my left hand is still up because then, if I want to, I can come back with that hook. You know, I can here. I can even come back with a jab, cross, whatever you want to do. I can even come back with the right hand. I never just bring it back. So you got to pretend like it's a it's a cross. It's a cross here. I turn. Now, just all I'm going to do is watch. I'm here. I'm going to. I'm not doing this. Right, because I'm not going to give you this big opening. All I'm going to do is from here, look. I come, turn, and come up like that. It's a very small motion. Here. Turn, I have to practice the same way I throw that cross, right? Turn. Come back. Turn. Come back. Turn. Come back. So then you practice it a few times. So I can even throw it like jab, turn, come back. Jab, turn, come back to so practice. And when you gotta practice, imagine that you're hitting something every time. So I'm gonna like throw it and stop it right here, as if I were to hit something. I'm not gonna, you know, keep going like that. Don't keep going. You hear? Stop. Stop it and come back. You see? I stopped it. I came back. Notice I come back. I stop. I turn. Come back. Right? You see how I can just add stuff if I want? Okay? Come back. I can do whatever I want at any time because I'm stopping, my weight's still in the back. If I can do a cross hook, one, two, pop, 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 add hooks into my crossing, right? One, two, three, two. One, two, three. Uppercut, three. I can do whatever I want, okay? So again, if you're gonna practice on your own, just make sure that you're stopping here. Make sure that you're turning your hip and your foot the same as you do with the cross. 
If you're gonna hit on the bag, you gotta come here and then work the bag from there, you know, because there's really uh, no way to hit on this kind of bag unless you have the uppercut bag, okay? So practice it, work it into your punching, switch it in if you wanna like practice for shadow boxing. Anytime you throw across, just throw the uppercut, see how it works. So I hope this video uh, helped anybody out there and thanks for watching.